Hey, Connor here in ESA. And uh, now that we're celebrating 300,000 subscribers, it's great to have you here connecting, listening. Thanks to all of you who've been part of this journey of sharing, commenting, and generally keeping me inspired to pull out the camera and put some thoughts from my mind down onto a page and, and put them in a form that perhaps they're of use to help you think about life and how to approach your days, your business, and the decisions that you're taking. And the reflection that I wanted to share with you today comes from an economist from the United States called Thomas Sowell. And Thomas Sowell he spends a lot of time looking at government politics, government policies, and, and their impact on, on populations. And one of the, the things that Thomas Sowell says is, there are no solutions, only trade-offs. I think this is a very powerful thought to stop and reflect. There are no solutions, only trade-offs. And you know, I think, how many things in, in my life am I looking for a solution when the reality of our lives is that you can just change the consequences of a problem. You can't get rid of the problem. Global warming. The question is, what are the trade-offs? There's no solution for global warming. There's a question of trade-offs. If we cut back completely the generating of energy from carbon sources, there's consequences. If we don't cut it back, there's consequences. There's no solution, there's a trade-off. And all problems need to be faced with this attitude that there are no permanent solutions to the problems of our life. People are people. The political problems that have been around for thousands and thousands of years are going to continue with us. And this, this thought that there are no solutions, there are just trade-offs, I think is so important in looking at our lives. Look, health. There are no solutions. You're not going to live forever. There are trade-offs. You want to live in a healthy body that is flexible. Well, you've got to spend time stretching, spend time exercising, overcome the short-term pain of getting to the gym, of going and moving your body and pushing it beyond what's comfortable. The trade-off for health is, is, do you want a comfortable life or do you want a body that will remain flexible and, and strong for as long as possible. There, there's no final solution. And I think almost all things in our life, whether it's how we bring up our kids, how we deal with the politics in the business around us, how we deal with competition in our market, how we deal with launching a new product, how we deal with deciding where to seek the next decade of growth as a business, there are no solutions. There's nothing that guarantees that all problems will go away. There are trade-offs. And the big thing in, in, in trade-off is being clear about what are the consequences of the actions you're taking and to begin to be responsible and, and accept what are the consequences of the decisions that you're taking. And what comes to my mind, 20 years ago I moved to Barcelona. I left London, I left a job as a consultant in Accenture. I left a, a potential career where you could see how the escalator would take you up the levels of manager, associate partner, partner and on up the levels. I left that kind of known professional path to move to Barcelona. And I was conscious when I arrived in Barcelona, I didn't speak the language. I didn't know people. I would be recognized as a foreigner the moment I opened my mouth. And I remember back 20 years ago, sitting on the beach one day to work through my acceptance of the consequences of this decision. Me deciding to move to Barcelona 20 years ago I was conscious that I was giving up some things that would be possible in London but were not going to be possible here. But also, I needed to accept that there was something important bringing me to Barcelona. But there's no solution, there's no making Barcelona have all the things that, ha that London has and keeping the things that Barcelona have. That would have been the perfect solution. And in our fantasy mind, sometimes we look for solutions that solve everything. I think this reflection from Thomas Sowell there are no solutions, only trade-offs. There's always consequences. So the question is, which of the types of consequences are you okay with living with? And not looking for a complete final solution. I think that there's a saying that the road to hell is paved by good intention. Trying to take action that has no negative consequences. There's no such thing. 
every action you take will have some positive and some negative consequences on the things that matter to you and the things that matter to others. And the question is not a removing all negative consequences, it's accepting that on balance of trade-offs, this is the decision that given the values I have, given who I am, given who I wish to be, this is the path that I'm willing to, to accept the consequences. So this reflection, there are no solutions, only trade-offs. Don't look for perfection in solutions. Don't hope for a world where you've got no more problems. One of the guarantees of this world is there will be problems. Business is solving problems. When people say AI is going to remove the need for work, no. Work is problem solving. All we do with new technologies is generate new levels of problems. Perhaps the skills you have are no longer appropriate for the types of problems that are going to come into the world now and you're going to need to change. Change is inevitable. Problems are inevitable. The question is, how do you take this, this ability to accept the trade-off between the different consequences of your actions? Not seeking for idealized solutions where there are no negative consequences. So, a uh, rather philosophical reflection. I do hope you're well. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your comments. It keeps me coming back, switching on the camera, reflecting, reading, paying attention to what's happening around me and, and trying to put these thoughts in a way that is, is of help for, for me and for you to reflect on the life that we are living. Have a good one.